Burying their arms for a day. 
And the cops say it's a crime For people like me and those friends of mine to want to die Like my neighbor in St. Pete She's been on house arrest down here If she tries to leave her yard They'll lock her in a cage for years Cause sometimes she wants to die And she shoots dope when she thinks she could die And the law, they caught her one too many times Shooting dope when she felt like she could die still recovering i uh i i did i got to fucking um fucking core legs then an abbreviated uh arms weight sort of situation i need to go back out to the gym um after the stream um and actually finish my workout um no no i'm 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 literally a resolution i'm I'm in glycogen recovery right now. Um, so like my glucose reserves, my glyco uh, glycogen uh, reserves have been tapped. Um, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't rest. I went from core to legs, which my leg routine is stupid. Um, 
makes me sweat my fucking tits off. Uh, it is it is a proper workout. Um, and then I just got some quick arms in. Um, nothing, nothing productive, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, but yeah. I mean, Doc grew up sky skiing um, double black diamonds and rock climbing and hiking across Vermont. Transitioned into, let's see, what would happen next? Then it would have been proper rock climbing, um, face, uh, a big wall and face, rappelling, then whitewater, um, then competitive inline, then skydiving. Um... I've always been a part of that life. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I, I never, never haven't been. Um, the only difference was uh, what I've been dealing with my progressive neuropathy for the last 12 years. Um, there was a period in there uh, where I was let's call it depressed it was it was depression right um it was it wasn't even depression it was resignation right um it was it was i was just sort of like i'm fucked right i'm in pain constantly and i just sort of resigned myself to just withering away to a certain extent um and then um yeah last year i i changed a couple of things um so yeah, like, yeah, exactly, guys. You gotta be fit for all that. Like, I've always been a part of that world. Um, I've never not been. Um, and yeah, Karina, um, I didn't get full body aches, but I was fucking wiped from it, and lots of people got full body aches. So, you're very fluey. A lot of people get the, like, flu body ache sort of thing. You know what hurt on me? It wasn't full body ache. It felt like my skin hurt. It wasn't, like, a deep muscle ache. It was, like, topical. My skin seemed to hurt. So. Uh, don't know whether. Uh, sorry. Still burping up the goat's milk way and fucking. Uh, felt like crawling out of my skin with a second shot. Yeah, resolution. I, mine was my booster that did that. My second shot sore arm sore arm and it flared my neuropathy of a little bit but other than that well uh interesting level yeah yeah it was like my skin hurt it was weird um not bad, right? um so yeah um, so like I said, I'm, I'm just sort of, I'm in the glycogen recovery phase. I, I put some, uh, like my post-workout sh shake is uh, 70 grams of goat's milk whey protein isolate and uh, 70 grams of um, fractionated barley amylopectin. So the goat's milk whey is going to be a little bit weighing on my stomach. Going to get a little of that itis fucking, you know, while it digests. But the the uh, barley amylopectin is very quick um, absorption. Like fruit juice territory rates of absorption um, without any of the bloat. So that'll pick me up here in a little bit. And if it doesn't kick me in the ass, I'll get a B12. Um... So, oh, oh, pancake looks good, Crimson. Anyway, is there anything that happened today that I should have noticed that I didn't notice that's somewhere in this feed? I mean, the fucking, uh, fucking Thomas Massey thing. I put that in ch in the Discord server. I laughed my ass off at that. Fucking GOP representatives out here quoting neo-Nazi child pornographers and shit. Good job. Um, Florida was, uh, added again. Um, this was taken in Orlando yesterday. So, you know, best people, the best people. K 
guy has to be able to read his own body like a video game stat sheet out here. I can tell if the proteins make it. I can. I can. Um, I, I actually, I've got a pretty good read on it. Um, after a lifetime of fucking around with this sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, last week. Um, oh, fuck you, Glazy. We don't walk around with fucking Nazi flags and shit. Also, we can spell Brandon. Fucking A. If we wanted to frame you idiots, why do we even bother? You've got a GOP fucking representative walking around right now, literally quoting a neo-Nazi fucking pedophile. We don't need to frame you guys. You guys are constantly fucking up like this. <laughs> Homie. Fucking A. <laughs> fucking right wingers are constantly rolling out the goddamn. There is an entire fuck. You know what? Fuck it. We're doing this. Hang on. No, uh, let's see. Top. Okay. Let's see. Here's let's go Brandon Orlando J uh, January 30th, but let's go let's go back. And what do we got for tops? All right, let's see. Yeah, I want top all time. Let's see. Oh yeah, the fucking Nathan Larson. Uh, the, uh, Nathan Larson. It's been a minute since I've seen him. The fucking white supremacist pedophile that was running for uh, GOP in uh, Virginia. It's been a while since I've seen him. Um, let's see. This is Trump fan Alexander Downing screaming threats and obscenities at a Muslim family on the beach in tears after he was arrested. Behold the master race, of course. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely master race going on here. As you can see, this is most assuredly the master race. You can, um, definitely see that they're the master race. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fucking proud boy Nazi shit. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the fucking Spanish neo-Nazi boxer. He got his ass handed to him. Oh, um, <clears throat> by the actual superior. Oh, let's see. What else we got? We got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The New Mexico school shooter who was like pro-Trump and shit and talked about the LGBT liberal filth and dirt, you know. Oh, let's see. What else? Oh, it's uh, Joey Saladino, the fucking, uh, the one who was running for Congress to remove a Democrat. Oh, it's right. He's fucking walking around with a MAGA hat and a fucking uh, swastika on his arm. Oh, interesting. Oh, look, another neo-Nazi who got life for the Charlottesville attack. Good good on him. Good on him. I'm, I'm sure that was, again, he was probably framed. It was probably just the left. It's probably just the left. Oh, let's see. Hey, it, it, homie, homie, homie. It's one of your boys. Fucking James Fields. Also charged with 30. Yeah, Heather Heyer. Uh, fucking, again, uh, also framed by leftists, I'm sure. Um, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, let's see. It's Zip Tie Guy. That's right. He's Antifa, right? This Zip, zip Tie Guy's Antifa. Oh, here's his mom with the fucking MAGA cap. Oh, we ended up finding out who he is as well. Trump supporter, not not Antifa. By the way, why do why why do all these people have trouble drawing a swastika? It's not that difficult. What is what is the, what is the the issue here? I, I like what 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 is complicated about drawing a swastika? I mean, you know. Oh, let's see. Oh yes, here's the 21 year old white supremacist who uh, who tried uh, attempted mass murder a couple days in a mosque in uh, Norway, uh, and there's the 65 year old worshiper Muhammad Rafiq who whooped his monkey ass all over the fucking that all over the fucking mosque. Good on him. Good on him. Let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, here's here's the alt right fucking free speech fucking. Oh, oh, and here's the counter protesters. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I don't even give a shit about him. Oh, Britain's first leaders. Again, framed by the left. Remember, framed by the left. Hey, Danny. Fucking hey, hey, Danny. Thank you for the gift sub. Oh, yes, yes. Got this. Wore this hat in Walmart in Greenville, Mississippi. Boy, the looks I got from the black people. Lol. 
fucking rebel with the uh, the fucking Confederate flag. Oh shit, interesting. Fucking oh look, a fucking Nazi doing a fucking salute next to a German. That went over well. I think that's illegal, by the way. Um, uh, fucking. But again, it, what actually happened? What actually happened here was the cop raised his arm for the photo because he's an evil leftist. And then he fucking lowered it for the photo op. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. For sure, 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 sure. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. I love this photo. This one's one of the best. Fucking dear mother, morale is low here on the front. I miss my tendies and basement. If I fall in battle, don't look at my browser history. Ah, oh. whoopsie. I wonder how that went over for him. Oh, interesting. It, it, it didn't go over that well, did it? Oh, let's see. Oh, hey, fucking, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is totally classy. This is, this is in part of the world. Sit down in the Gulf. Uh, all, all framed by the left, by the way. All framed by the left. That you could you can rest assured that every one of those individuals, no matter if they were in Sweden or Germany or Florida or North Carolina or Texas, uh, fucking, uh, they are most assuredly fucking framed by the left. It was Antifa that did it for sure, for sure. I don't know what you're talking about, Rena. What do you what are you talking about? Anyway, uh, so you know, I don't have a profile on that fucking, on that browser. That browser is clean every time I close it. There's nothing to save my settings for Reddit because y'all peasants are being tracked. That browser isn't. It's clean. So yeah. Occasionally it defaults to uh, to light mode um, and YouTube occasionally prompts me to log in or gives me an age gating because I don't fucking sign into anything on that browser. That browser is designed to clear everything the moment I close it. Um, anyway, let's see. Let's do some, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's see. This was taken in Orlando. Hey, look, right here. It's going straight to Orange County PD. Look, you get your flag. Go, go ahead. Right. Tell the cops. Look, right. make sure you. Oh, let's see. Armbands too. Nice. Always, always nice. Oh, let's see. League of the South. Fucking off. Oh, doing, doing great there. Fucking a. Let's see, 16 members of the Florida uh, white supremacist group charged with sweeping indictment. Nah, doing great. Fuck it. Oh, here's the Goyam Defense League in Florida. Oh, yeah, this is definitely, this is top tier. This is top tier. By the way, these are all at secret Antifa members that I personally recruited to infiltrate and, uh, uh, and make Florida specifically look bad, for sure. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's the, oh yeah, I remember her. The fucking 77 uh, year old who, uh, fucking re Florida retiree who literally lost her shit and started screaming racial epithets and hurled her whopper at the cashier because the thickness of the tomato was too, I believe it was too thick for her. I don't even think it was too thin. I think it was too thick. Either way. Oh, let's see. Oh, look, smart. Oh, this is great. This is great. Six Jews, 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 Jews promote homosexuality. And oh, let's see. That's, that's interesting. Let's see. Uh, 407. Um, that's, that's, let's see. What, what area code does that belong to? Hmm. Anti-Semitic protest at the Holocaust Memorial and Resource and Education Center of Florida. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, look. Hmm. <clears throat> Florida. Oh, we can't watch that one. That one actually, I think there's nudity in that one. Yes. Yes. Here's, oh yes. Here's the fundamentalist pastor in Florida. Yeah. 
Yep. Again, master race. He be he believes he is superior to. Well, hold on. Yes, that's the photo I want. Okay, so this individual here, he believes he is genetically superior to this man. He believes he is superior to him. Uh. Yep. Oh, look. Look. Obsessed with interracial sex, too. Hmm. By the way, disproportionate amount of interracial porn is viewed in the Deep South. Who would have guessed? Oh, let's see. We could we could go on and on by the way. This is just this is just you know. Ooh, look at that. Look at that racial superiority. Ooh, that's sexy. All oh, that racial superiority gets me going. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This just keeps keeps going and going and going and going. Oh, just the fucking Oh. Uh. Hey. I actually spelled that I'm, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Well, let's look some lawn statues in Titusville. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Titusville, Florida. Let's see. We got a location. Oh God. Oh God, it's an Orwell quote. Oh, hey, that's nice. That's, that's nice. That's nice. That's definitely not super fucking racist. That's definitely not super fucking racist. But again, remember everybody, these are all Antifa plants. These are all leftist Antifa plants. This is us doing this. For sure, for sure, this is this. Remember, remember, this is Antifa doing this. Yes, it's a watermelon beast. Yes, it's a watermelon. Oh, look, another one. It's the house Negro version of it. Oh, how cute. Well, at least the Antifa plants that were going around, uh, like planting all of these, like uh, these, um, these lawn ornaments. Uh, around Florida were, you know, it was the YLF. Yeah, why, <laughs> fucking, were, were, you know, they had a little variation to what they were doing. You know, some days we hang signs, some days we raid courthouses, some days we beat up black people to convince people that there's, you know, racists in Florida. Um, otherwise, you know, uh, most days we just travel around with trucks full of racist lawn ornaments and plant them and then take video of them. Have I got my point across to you yet, Glazy? It is the lamest fucking reaction. Oh, the, the fucking, it, that's it, that's, hey, dig. Yeah, yeah, fucking, dude, these, these fuckers can never draw swastikas correctly. I don't know what it is. It is the lamest fucking reaction to see 
I never see those. Well, that's definitely because you have never seen it, Glazy. It definitely doesn't happen. Yeah, for sure. You weren't there during the civil rights riots, so that means those didn't happen either. Yeah. Women, you were not alive during the women's suffrage movement, so it didn't happen because you didn't see it personally. What a dumb fucking take. Um, oh, I can't put that one because they try. Okay, I can do that one. They can never do swastikas. Why can't they draw swastikas? Oh, oh, oh. What is it? Fucking cupcake. Who sent me that one? Cupcake? Oh, no, non-binary. Come on, non-binary. Fucking <laughs> cut a brother some slack here. <laughs> um... I know, right? It's six lines. It's six lines. How is this difficult? Oops. Uh, who's tagging me where? Yes, I saw the Almond Arbery uh, rejection. I know. Uh, you do realize that the Confederate flag is... One, not the Confederate flag. That is the battle flag of the Army of Northern Virginia. And two, it's super fucking racist. I know, right, Karina? You start simple, right? You draw the swastika just bare bones lines. And then once you master that, maybe go for an outlined swastika. Because let's face it, that's advanced art for these people. Uh, let's see. Oh, I mean, I don't know, fucking sorry, I'm like, yeah. Heritage, not hate. Oh God, the cornerstone speech. Oh God, Sumner's cornerstone speech. Oh God, fucking A. Sumner's cornerstone speech. Jesus Christ. Okay, Fratus, I love that, you, of course, a French guy knows this cornerstone speech. For those Americans that don't know the cornerstone speech, you need to know the cornerstone speech. It was, uh, uh, it was given um, by, uh, by uh, fucking Alexander Stevens, uh, who was the vice president of the Confederate, uh, Confederate States of America. Okay, unequivocally. The foundations of uh, uh, the Confederacy... Its foundations are laid, its cornerstone rests upon the great truth that the Negro is not equal to the white man, that slavery, subordination to the superior race is his natural condition. This, our new government, is the first in the history of the world based upon this great physical, ph philosophical, and moral truth. That is the Confederacy. Fucking... Hey, I love that you know the cornerstone speech. <laughs> the cornerstone speech is su like, it's it's the fucking just nail in the coffin. It's about heritage, not hate. Your heritage is hateful. <laughs> Fair enough, Karina. Uh... Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, you want to see, you want to see what Stevens looks like here. Here, this is this is Stevens. Okay, so just imagine him saying it.
<laughs> oh, fuck yeah, beast. Um, oh yeah, for sure, got it. For sure. <laughs> uh, fucking, I love that though. Fucking, I don't see any swastikas, but I see Confederate flags all the time. You might as well see swastikas. Like it's it's there's very little difference really at the end of the day between seeing somebody hang a swastika and seeing somebody hang a Confederate flag. There really isn't that much of an ethical difference at the end of the day really. Oh, kind of. You know what, Rev? Let's let's fucking pull that. Oh god damn it. You know what? I mean... Good eye, Rev. Good eye. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Ham is a time traveling asshole confirmed. Could it could potentially be a vampire situation. <laughs> yeah. I, I still the fact that dude the fact that the Europeans know so, <laughs> uh <laughs> him fuck you <laughs> no no Solario he just fucking like fucking takes his cape and and fucking just runs off <laughs> uh dude shit's racist as fuck you see somebody flying a fucking Confederate flag or rocking the fucking stars and bars shit um they're racist. Whether they know it or not, they're racist. Like this is this is just this is the truth of the matter. That flag, that flag is super problematic and representative of nothing good. Nothing good. That flag is not representative of anything good. And as I think Rev pointed out, that flag didn't become popularized until the 1960s. I wonder what was going on around then, huh? Hmm. 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 Was there, were there any events that were kicking off in the 1960s? What's up, Pronky? Was there any events kicking off in the 1960s that, I don't know, might have caused white people to get all uppity about race relations in some way, shape, or form and start flying Confederate flags? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, same time a bunch of statues of Confederate generals and slave owners got built. That's weird. Huh. I wonder... That's strange. Yes, yes, the Confederate flag is an Antifa symbol now, for sure, for sure, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> I, I just every fucking time somebody pulls that shit, it's leftists that did that. Oh my god! Um, was it a pie eating contest? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Wait, Crimson, don't you eat pie at a counter of some sort? Like a place that serves food to the public. Across a counter, maybe. Hmm. Nah, I'm sure that's not it. I couldn't imagine defending that. I couldn't imagine defending it. Oh, by the way. Oh, by the way. Hang on. Before I forget about this, this is the dumbest fucking shit I've seen t today, basically. I mean, outside the GOP fucking congressman who's literally fucking quoting neo-Nazi pedophiles. <sighs> mm. 
Yeah, Prunky. How do y'all treat that sort of shit around your parts, though? No, prun Prunky. 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 Nix the apology. We got Americans who speak far worse than you. Grammar, vocab, general red rhetoric. Don't don't apologize. You're working you're working in a second or third or fourth language potentially. You good. Um Yeah, Bookchin, Wither. Bookchin. You want to read Bookchin for that. Like I said, he turned, he like showed his ML colors at the end, but when he was doing all the uh, like ecological stuff, Bookchin. You cannot deport an ethnic minority in a communist country because ethnic minorities didn't exist in the Soviet Union. Ethnicity is a social construct with no basis in genetics. There were only the proletariat and hereditary reactionaries. It's fine to deport hereditary reactionaries. You said it yourself that you hate reactionaries. Hereditary reactionaries. <sighs> Can we just not with the tankies? Can we just not with the fucking tankies? These people are fucking... Oh my god. No, I didn't commodity. No. I mean, you know, I don't have time for every video. Um. And level, how's that going? How far in are you and how, how's that going for you, level? Jack, what's up, my man? Thank you for the resub. Fucking A, seven months. They called him a rhino and said he should resign. I'm fine with that. Uh But remember everyone Antifa did it Dumbest motherfuckers Um Oh while we're talking about fucking right wingers who are functionally deficient Uh let's talk about the trucking convoy Let's, let's talk about Truckistan right now. Doing good work up there, I see. Doing good work. So far, um, I've seen them abuse home uh, uh, homeless shelter workers who are handing out meals to the homeless on the street. So far, they've uh, attacked uh, in uh, ambulances in Ottawa. Uh, with rocks. They started pelting ambulances with rocks. Um, they <laughs> they're doing they're doing good work. They're doing good work proving their point that they are the oppressed minority and that they need <laughs> Fuck it. Hey. They immediately started attacking homeless shelter workers and fucking ambulances. Dear sweet Jesus. Right? Also, they've raised, like, coming up on $8 million. It's a grift. It's a grift. They've raised, like, $8 million. You know that, right? We, we looked at their GoFundMe last week, Friday, something like that. Uh, Jeffrey James, uh, the truck convoy in Canada. Yes, the truckers for Trump. I don't know what they're about. They're, I mean, they're against COVID vaccine mandates and mask mandates and like that sort of thing. But frankly, they're truckers for Trump at this point. They're just extensions of the U.S. Fox News propaganda mill at this point. Um, so. Oh, you're adorable. Do you want to come on the air and talk about it, Jeffrey James? Yeah, the can Canada constantly copies the U.S. Uh, 
Oh no. <laughs> he had one of the least successful presidencies. Is that a vi is that a threat of violence from a Trump supporter? And there will be hell to pay. It will get bad. What kind of hell? What kind of hell will 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 there be to pay? Please. It no a promise. Interesting. Fascinating. So it's a promise of violence. What 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 kind of violence will be visited upon whom by whom? Please clarify for us. Oh, he's attempting to misgender me now. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh. And now you notice he's trying to back up very quickly from that statement. Yeah. Puka, we've got a, a Trump supporter threatening violence and then saying he's not threatening violence, but he's we all know what he's talking about. Trump will be back in 2024 and there will be hell to pay and it will be bad. Hmm, interesting. And then I asked him, what is is that a uh, is that a threat of violence? And he said, no, it's a promise. And then when he realized how far across the TOS line he had stepped, he immediately pivoted and tried to backpedal his way into, no, not violence. You said violence. So I'm sure you're um, willing to stand by your convictions, right? And come on air and discuss this topic with nuance and grace. I'm literally just reading what you put in chat. I don't need to spin shit. Your words speak for themselves, my friend. What is my narrative? What's my narrative? This is, this is, this is fun. What's my narrative? Well, you, cl you clearly understand my narrative. So what is it? Please elaborate. I would love to know what my narrative is. Not yet with her. Jeffrey James, I don't care who's president. They all suck. This is what apparently the the just giant gape that you have. Oh, there we go. Hang on, let me try. There we go. Fucked up my audio. Um, that you have stepped in. I'm an anarchist. Every president is just as bad. They're all war criminals. They're all guilty of human rights violations. The instant they swear into office. They're guilty. I am, my entire ideology is antithetical to the existence of a president, be it Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Glazy, look up the definition of politician for me, please. Uh, yes, Prunky, you are correct. He doesn't know the difference between liberal and conservative. He couldn't define conservative if, if he tried. Like, he couldn't define conservative with a fucking dictionary. Let alone what a liberal is. Let alone uh, what an anarchist is. Let alone what, what, what. God help us if he tries to define communism. That would be hilarious.
he's a typical Trump supporter. He's poorly educated. He's been hoodwinked. Trump is a dumb man's idea of a smart man. He's a poor, uh, poor man's idea of a rich man. He is a classless man's idea of a classy man. He is someone who has no political experience's idea of a politician. He is literally appealing to the lowest common denominator. It's a very good stratagem. You can't deny that. But it wasn't his stratagem to concoct. The fact of the matter is, is that Trump's campaign was basically orchestrated and uh, c uh, created by Steve Bannon and Robert Mercer, not Donald Trump. That's the truth of the matter. Donald Trump didn't get Donald Trump elected. Even his most fa uh, like quotes weren't his. They were written by uh, speechwriters. He has, he has interviews where he talks about like, oh, I didn't like that at first, but then the audience reacted to it. So I love it. All right. He didn't even put, say most of the words he said. They were written for him. He's not capable of giving a well and proper written speech. He's not an orator. He's not a rhetorician by any length or means. This is just sad. It's sad. Homie, I don't give a shit about Trump. I don't give a shit about Biden. They're both terrible men who perpetuate a system of coercion and violence upon the people. Trump just takes advantage of a different group. That's all. Arguably, Trump's worse from an ethical standpoint because of the group he's taking advantage of is far more marginalized and doesn't have the resources to be taken advantage of. I mean, we're talking West Virginia coal miners and shit like that who need a hand up in this world but Trump's out there just raping them. So, you know, ethically, there's an argument to be made that Trump is far worse. But in either case, authoritarian systems of centralizing power? Yeah, no, not my thing. So, yeah. I detest all politicians. No, except Bernie Sanders. Bernie's a good a good man. Oh, and Barbara Lee. Barbara Lee's a good woman. Yeah, I can name two off the top of my head I don't detest. But by and large, the majority of politicians are detestable. So, yeah, I detest Trump as well. I detest Feinstein. I detest fucking uh, Pelosi. And fucking Schumer. And McConnell. And DeSantis. I detest them all. They're detestable. Of course he's a coward. They always are. Say what you will. Glazy is one of the strongest characters in this community. Say what you will. Glazy, I fucking have to dunk on you on the regular basis. And you've got a lot of shit takes that need dunking on. But as far as strength of character goes. And the ability to fucking take a punch. Glazy deserves a shout out. He really does. Because punk bitches like that who are just like, I'm going to go play Fortnite now. Yeah. Come on. That's, that's just, that's just weakness. That's beta male shit. Where is it? I got it. Beta. 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 <laughs> beta. Anyway. Dude, the, the cult of Trump is strong. And it is a cult, by the way. <sighs> um, well, Killa. Seeing as you're a, a monitored ban evader with a suspicious user tag already on your account. What do you think Marx and Engels' opinions were of LGBTQ people? They didn't, um, they didn't comment on it. Uh, Marx specifically uh, didn't comment on sexuality in general. 
it wasn't a topic that he concerned himself with in any regard. Um, but what I can tell you is that the descendants of Marx and Engels' philosophy and ideology vis-a-vis -vis Leninism and Stalinism, which is the revised Leninist uh, uh, interpretation, uh, which is the uh, and Leninism is the revised interpretation of Marx and Engels, had very much to say on LGBTQ issues. None of it positive. The further along you go, the more it becomes a almost Russian orthodoxy, heterodox uh, relationship with uh, alternative sexualities or um, LGBTQ rights. Um, Stalin, in particular, was the round them up and put them in camps and work them to death type, if not execute them summarily. Mao also was not a fan. Eh, not really. I mean, credit where credit's due. I'm not a fan of Marx. Uh, or Engels, really. I mean, Engels was the intelligence really behind it, though Marx had good economic analysis. Um, the Leninist and Stalinist interpretations of Marxism aren't that close to Marx. They really aren't. Um, that, to be fair to Marx and Engels, the Leninist and Stalinist interpretations are not close. Um, they do carry on the tradition of centralizing authoritarian system, uh, uh, status structures, for sure. Um, but they have a very strong aversion to homosexuality, bisexuality, um, Goddard, Shay can go fuck himself. I don't care. Sorry, once you start rounding up gays and putting them in the, camp to, uh, in the camps to die, I don't care what you're, you're, if you evolved on the issue. You can go fuck yourself. Yeah. Like, Che can go fuck himself. Um, so, yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Karina. Um, uh, Lenin was a fucking turncoat and a half. Lenin was a turncoat and a half, Reno. I'd never fucking, I'd never cross that line. Lenin was hugely problematic. You don't understand the difference between an anarchist and a Marxist. Congratulations, Killa. Congratulations, you would flunk a flat out poli sci 101 class. Like intro to poli sci, you'd flunk. Congratulations. Well, then this conversation's done. Have fun. Enjoy your ban. Because as far as I'm concerned, somebody who thinks there isn't a difference between Marxism and anarchism, you are unredeemable. Mm, somebody who doesn't understand, uh, hasn't read history either. Hey, what's up, Stellar? Anyway. Um, how you doing, Stellar? You doing okay? I'm just getting ready to like shadow ban a guy here. Actually, I'll probably just fucking. Hey, Killa, quick, 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 quick like a bunny. You can do it. Yeah, Glazy. It's doable. Um, given the new suspicious user monitoring system that Twitch implemented, it is entirely possible to do that now. Um, quick, like a bunny, look up the amount of times that the communists and the anarchists have fought. You can do it, Killa. You can do it. Look how many times we've been on the opposite side of the, uh, of the battle. Zero. Congratulations. You're an ignorant fuck and I'm done talking to you. Anyway. Um, so. Let's see. Let's do some headlines. If anybody else wants to play with him in chat, feel free. But somebody who's that ignorant of history. It's not worth my time. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, Tommy Lahren's in the news again. Uh, if police brutality cases could have been avoided if people would just comply. Sounds about right. Uh, let's see what we got. What we got? I talked about, oh, we started about the, tr uh, the, the truck convoy. I think we're pretty much done with that. Um, is he spam? Oh, no. Okay. Cope and cry. Hey, Killa, get on the air or get banned. Have this conversation live on the air so we can see exactly how ignorant you are of dates and events or leave. Either way, the choice is now yours. And when you come back with no, no, the next thing that will happen is an Insta ban. Oh, and I'll be reporting your account for uh, ban evasion. Just know that as well. So, either put up or shut up. Your call, my friend. Uh, and there we go. And let me report this. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, I'm guessing Kill is still here. And he um can't speak anymore. He's he has been silenced. 1984. Literally 1984 up in this bitch. Um so let me inform you, Killa. The communists believe in a centralizing authoritarian status structure with a vanguard system of control, which means empowered elites. Anarchists believe in a distributed, non-statist, non-vanguardistic system. Okay, so what's the difference here? The difference is Stalin versus everybody gets a say. What's a further difference? Oh, I don't know. The fact that under a communist system, we have academic men, men of learning, committees who get the final say on things. Under an anarchistic system, the people get the final say. Every people, every person gets a final say on that. Do you understand the difference? Oh, what about that status structure? Well, communists believe in a monopolization of force centralized upon the state structure. Anarchists believe that a monopolization of force is coercive by its very nature and should be eliminated thereof, thus eliminating the state hierarchical structure as well. See how these two things are beginning to be, uh, become antithetical? Just because two groups oppose something doesn't make them the same. It's funny because communists and capitalists both fought Nazis. So that makes them the same, right? Because they agreed. Oh, wait, that's right. Stalin signed up with the Nazis, too. Hmm. Ribbentrop. Oh, you know who didn't work with the Nazis? Oh, that's right, the anarchists. Anyway. Good to know, Weasel. I never was too super aware. Uh, I mean, yeah, Bronky, of course, for sure. Um,
I don't even think I can put that on the air cave. I'm not gonna put that on there. Um. Oh, so the chuds are out tonight. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Us. And there we go. He is shadow banned. I actually unbanned Killa W5. Now, if he keeps his account, that's another thing. Um, but Killa will not be able to interact with, with you guys. From now on, if Killa comes into this chat with that account, only the mods or above can see what he's saying. No one else. Won't appear on screen. Won't appear for you guys in your chat feed. He is he is effectively shadow banned. Um, so that's that's how that works now. Uh so the dates I'll be in Vegas are oh that's a ways out, Bobby. Okay. Yeah, remind me much, much, much closer to it. Literally just screaming into the void. Yep. Hey, nonsense. What's their phrase? Fuck around and find out. Yes, that's the find out portion thing. Um. <gasps> this shit. This shit. God damn it, this shit. Hang on. Hang on. The NFT... Can I just have the R word back? Can I just have the R word back? The NFT idiots are at it again. If you could own color on the blockchain and earn royalties from it each time an NFT uses those color trades, which colors would you mint? This is what we're going to make possible at the upcoming Color.Museum NFT market. NFT free with every lobotomy because it seems like it. No, I didn't, Rev. I mean, it's good, but it's not like there's no, it's not related to anything, Cave. Yeah, all my apes. Ugh, I, 
I, I can't. I can't. I can't with the NFT shit. I can't. I'm fucking done. I'm sick of talking about this stupid fucking NFT shit in all of its form. Even making fun of it is starting to make me lose my fucking mind. This is the dumbest goddamn technology. I'm so sick of talking about this stupid shit, but every day they fucking come up with something even stupider. Every day you're like, oh no, I mean, they clearly, they're fucking, fra they're, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel. No, now we want to NFT colors. I, I'm just done. I'm fucking done. Samsung Austin spilled 763,000 gallons of acid waste into the local ecosystem, by the way. Here, I'll get you a fucking map of where they dumped it. About to lose my fucking mind. It's because NFTs finally broke me. Talk about something that fucking matters for once. <sighs> 763,000 fucking gallons of acid waste dumped in this dumped in this pool up here and fucking just flowed all the way out here. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, are these are these residential developments I see? Oh, oh, they they look like it. Oh, that's interesting. And well, that's that's fascinating. Fucking A. Investigators did find that the discharges had ceased um but that was between january 14th and 19th of this year yeah cassidy yes an unsealed unlined pool of course of course and you know will they be punished will will they you know will what 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 is the what is the the ramifications of this to to Samsung as an entity? Well, they now are they now have to do weekly monitoring. So we good? We square? Oh, and speaking of solutions, see if I can see if I can break this up. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, look, another fucking idiot. Doing a Hitler salute in public in America. Probably a Floridian. Well, there's a solution to these things when you see someone do this. His hands down. Problem solved. Problem fucking solved. Oh, this guy. I like this guy. He's done a couple of videos I've seen. I forget what the other ones were. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Maybe we should take them do weekly monitoring. All right. I like this guy. Hey, Christopher. Yeah, boss, what's up? What do you think about making some of our articles open access? That's a good idea. Make the articles free to the public so that anybody can appreciate the latest scientific advancements. I like it. Of course, the author would have to pay some kind of publishing fee. Yeah, okay, that's reasonable. What, like a couple hundred bucks? Yeah, I was thinking maybe $11,000. Hmm. What? Yeah, $11,000, and we put your article on our website for anybody to read. 
Why so much? Oh, you know, all the, the costs. What costs? Uh, reviewing the article? That's yeah, the we don't pay sense. reviewers. We guilt them into it because it's good for science. Okay, uh, what about formatting? Your 12-year-old niece does that for us. Well, we gotta publish it. That costs money. It's a PDF on a website. Kaylee does it in like two seconds. Kaylee? Your niece. Oh, yeah. Besides, who's going to be able to afford this? Oh, people will pay. Why? Because they have to. What do you mean? Researchers have to publish in order to keep their jobs or get promoted, and we're one of the most prestigious journals around. People will pay. So it's extortion. Here at Nature, we're doing crime. Oh, Christopher, don't be so dramatic. So let me get this straight. You want to charge researchers $11,000 to publish an open access article, thereby ensuring that only researchers with the most money get to publish an article, which defeats the purpose of having open access articles in the first place. Yeah, that's right. And this is guaranteed to be profitable because researchers' livelihoods are dependent on a predatory system that values publishing in high-impact journals. Hey, you got it. This, of course, is insane. It's academics, baby. It does good work. Yeah, it was the doctor's insurance company ones. Yeah, the doctor's insurance company ones, the, the other video of his I've seen. He does good work. He's a good satirist. And a doctor, I think. Uh. Oh, here's the, uh, here's the other story. Fucking, I mentioned this. This is fine. They not only verbally harassed and made the staff of the facility fear for their well-being they also blocked the drop in a uh, drop off in front of the shelter where police and paramedics come to bring people for care to the shelter as well using trucks from their convoy which per the own uh per the uh president and ceo of shepherds of good hope quite literally could have cost somebody a life the, but they're the good guys they're the good guys Uh, I meant to look at this. I didn't watch this. Okay, so apparently Samir Khan like started shitting on Haz or something. Get, get follow me on Instagram, Infrahaz. I need to grow that Instagram, you know. Infrahaz on Instagram. That's it. Uh, I'm Samira Khan on Twitter, S A M E E R A K H A N, and that's the only thing I'm on. Basically, I have Instagram. I don't use it, but yeah, Twitter. How is this fucking labeled this way? Why is this labeled this way? I don't fucking know. Either way, okay. So not getting shit on by Samira Khan. Don't know. No. Uh, he is, he is a low cow. Uh, he a hundred percent is a low cow. Um, who, who wants to see it? <laughs> Cute little hazzy. I told you, I found him wandering around the street. And I mean, he was, I mean, it's just, he's so short. He's so short. I found him wandering around the street and I was afraid he might get like, you know, washed into a gutter or something, or maybe run over by a car. So I, I just picked him up and put him in my pocket and brought him home. And, you know, I've been feeding him with a drop, uh, you know, an eyedropper. Um, yeah. A little bit of soy milk. A little bit of soy milk goes a long ways. Yeah. Poor little guy. <sighs> oh, uh, Candace Owens doesn't believe we... Um, I don't know, Glazy. 
that's it's not something I concern myself with. The only reason I ever even thought about partnership was whether uh, it was to get more e emotes for the community. That's it. I don't think about it. I don't care. It doesn't make any difference other than more e uh, more emotes for the community. That's it. I, your obsession with my partnership is weird. Like, you've asked me more times in the last week than anybody's ever talked about it before. It, it's a non-issue. Um, oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Kevin Sorbo is a fucking dummy and a half. He's dumb as sticks. Again, that's more times than anybody's ever fucking cared, Glazy. Like, legitimately. Nobody gives a shit about Twitch partnership. Like, it doesn't change anything other than you get more emotes. You get a little more ad share revenue, which amounts to nothing for anybody. So Candace Owens doesn't believe we landed on the moon, everyone. Real, real thing. She tweeted it out. She tweeted it out on the uh, 28th, Friday. She, straight up. What is, uh, what's that one conspiracy theory that no matter what anyone says, you believe is true? Mine is that the moon landing in 1969 was completely faked. Just nothing about it makes sense, especially NASA accidentally erasing the original footage. The biggest thing for me is the fuel tank size plus the live broadcast with audio from the moon in 1969. I just cannot. Oh, of course she doubled down. Of course she doubled down. She's functionally fucking deficient. She's stupid as fuck all. By the way, you know she became a conservative overnight, right? Candace Owens was a liberal. She literally became a conservative over overnight. Her own words. She became a conservative overnight. Oh, Trump isn't anything. Yeah, she's a token. She's a token. 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a super grifter. Trump, Trump isn't anything. Trump has no ethical framework. He has no morals. Trump is for Trump. Always has been. He has been open about that. He would vote for anybody. He would uh, donate to whoever was going to get him more access or more power, uh, in, in especially in New York City, because that's where, you know, regionally he was based for the majority of his life. He's been very open about that. He's a grifter. Trump has no allegiance. Trump's allegiance is to Donald Trump. That's it. He's a narcissist. Pathological, too. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? Yeah, Candace literally straight up said, I became a conservative overnight. If, if you're dumb enough to believe these people, if you're dumb enough to actually fucking buy what these people say, then you know what? Don't get your COVID vaccine. Don't wear your fucking mask. And you know what? Don't wear your fucking um, life vest while you're out uh, boating as well. Just do us all a favor. Fucking dude, experts say you should probably wear a life vest while boat while boating. That's dude. That's crazy science expert shit. You gonna let, you gonna let fucking you gonna let big life vest run your life? Fucking mm -mm. fucking freedom, baby, freedom. Or seatbelts? Yeah, exactly. You sound like a stupid science bitch. Yeah, don't... You leave the neon at home when you're hunting. Fucking... You know what? Don't even... You know what? When you're cleaning your gun, leave it loaded and look down the barrel because experts say you shouldn't do that. What the fuck do experts know? Right? Ooh, fucking... Hey, I'm just some fucking dumb libtard. Like, it's not like I taught firearm safety classes. I'm telling you as one of them dumb, extreme, radical, leftist libtards that you probably should unload your firearm and not look down the barrel when you're cleaning it. But hey, fuck do I know? Shouldn't, you should, you should definitely do the opposite of whatever the fuck I'm saying. Yep. Fucking, fuck these people. I'm fucking over it. I'm over it. Like, why should I listen to somebody who spent their entire life studying a singular topic? Oh, I don't know. 
No idea whatsoever. Fucking seat belts are out, life life preservers are out, fucking gun safety's out, fucking modern medicine. Fuck that. That's all expert driven. Dude, modern medicine is all expert driven. You can't be trusting antibiotics. You can't be trusting fucking hand sanitizer. You, you know what? You probably shouldn't even cook your chicken. I mean, experts say that you could catch salmonella that way. So fuck it. Let's just, you know what? Just start eating raw chicken straight from the factory plant. Who gives a fuck? Fucking just let your kids lick it. And fucking put it, shove a stick up a, a, a chicken, a raw chicken breast and hand it to those little kids. It's good. It'll build their immune system. You fucking idiots. I'm over these people. Fucking this dumb cunt says she doesn't believe in the moon landing. Like... Uh, yes, uh, Wither, I already posted it to shared content, um, a while ago. Scroll up. Here, I can get you a fucking photo. I can get you a photo again, Wither. Uh... Here, I can even get you a piece, uh, a political compass meme version of that. There you go. It's in shared content with her. Rye? Of course not. She's a fucking grifter and a half. She's literally a token for the conservative party. Fucking, she, she legit has talked about openly how she con converted to conservatism overnight. She was a liberal. She tried to make it as a liberal, but she couldn't. She fucking failed. She failed miserably as a liberal. And then this dumb twat uh, literally turns conservative overnight successful. Because they're the dumbest people walking around. They're the dumbest goddamn people walking around. Per capita, on average. Yeah. Easiest grift in politics, minority conservative. Yeah. Are you kidding me? When my money finally runs out one of these days, I'm just going to fucking, guess what? I'm just going to fucking run the, the, the right wing grift. Are you kidding me? Fucking, I'll split it. 50% goes in my pocket. 50% goes to Food Not Bombs and other anarchist charities. Who gives a shit? Let's take these idiots money. Uh, money. They're fucking, they hand it over. I mean, look at Joel Osteen for fuck's sake. This is a pastor preaching the word of Jesus who preaches poverty above riches, above all else. Sacrifice the worldly and material. This fucker has a private jet and an Aston Martin parked next to it. And his moron congr uh, congregants still give him money. That's his goddamn church. That's his fucking church. Dig, no you don't. No you don't. Aw, I'm sorry, Karen. These people are idiots. They're idiots. Another fucking church. This is a church. This is a church worshiping the guy who said, give all of your worldly possessions away and join us. This is a fucking church. For the, for the fucking poor wandering hippie guy.
Another church. Good on you, Squee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah, oh, yeah. The fucking, the fact that the church was locked up during, which hurricane was that? And he wouldn't let anybody in? Yeah, for two's pro prosperity gospel. Fuck that shit. Oh, oh, speaking of assholes, speaking of assholes, speaking of assholes. Tesla rolled out a software update. Tesla is now monitoring how often you adjust your seat position and disables controls for quote, chronic abusers. If you move your seat too much, Tesla disables your ability to move your seat. You want to know why? Because they've been having uh, warranty recall issues based on their motors burning out because they cheaped out on the motors they put in the fucking seat controls. So rather than fix the fucking cheap piece of shit motors they put in their cheap piece of shit cars, what they did was roll out a software update so that you couldn't overtax their cheap Chinese made piece of shit fucking motor. Oh, by the way, people are already predicting. Just wait you'll be able to unlock it with a premium purchase. Just wait. That'll be subscription-based too. 100%. 100% .100%. Just wait a couple of months. Mm -hmm. What's my favorite electric car? The Remac, uh, Remac Concept 1. That's a Remac concept one. You a better photo. Here you go. That's an electric car. It's also a hyper car. Costs like a million. But it's also a leap forward in technology unlike the Tesla. The battery technology that is used in a Remac, Remac makes the battery technology for like BMW and Mercedes, I think. Also, there's a few other high performance cars that use that. Um, there is a high performance electric motor in each of those wheels. It does amazing calculations and shit. This thing just sticks to the road. It is a fascinating car that has inordinate amounts of power behind it. It is... It is an impressive vehicle. Um, yeah. Uh, unlike the Tesla, that thing's actually impressive. The Tesla is just a fucking lithium power, lithium ion battery packed car that's cheaply made too, by the way. It's just a piece. Of, it's plasticky inside. The gaps on everything are uneven. The build quality is crap. Do a bit. I think I haven't been inside a fucking Tesla. They're crap. They're crap. Like, there's, there's no way around it. And if you fucking scrape it, like, if you just even scratch it a little bit, fucking the car's basically totaled. It's, it's, Tesla's are garbage. Uh, a Remac truck would be interesting. Yeah, because Remac isn't, like, just, a, like, a concept car company. They're already integrated into the back end. Um, Remac makes components. Uh... Every single thing in this car, by the way, is made by Remac. Like, they make everything. Um, let, me, uh, let me get you an interior shot. Like, they're, they're not using, like, off-the-shelf shit. Um, and... Alright. We get you an overhead shot. Uh, Toyota with her. Toyota. 
Here's an overhead shot from the gull wing because they use gull wing doors. Here's, here's an interior shot. This is what it's like to sit in that car. They make their gauges, they make their dials, they make their vent structures, they make all that sort of, they make their fucking, yeah. No, it doesn't. That tells me you've never sat in a Tesla. Everyone, Glazy can't tell the difference between these two pictures. Oh, Swede's be, gu guarantee Swede's been inside a Tesla. Uh, Swede, you been in a Tesla? <clears throat> of course, it's completely different. How's the build quality on them, Swede? How's the the gap margins? How's the plastic crap? How's the how's the general overall build quality on the Tesla interior? That's an old one. There's a newer one. Oh, they've got... Dude, Audi, Audi went overboard with the screens. Don't like the gear knob. They've gone overboard with the screens over here. <sighs> Pedal layout's a little shit. It is better. It's leaps and bounds better than a fucking Tesla interior, though. Leaps and bounds better. Wait, what was that? I saw. I, hang on, get back here. I saw you. You want to know why? Because Remac helped build a lot of those components uh, for Audi. Swede. Um, and Audi's next R8, the electric one, is basically a Remac under the hood. Um, the entire powertrain, the fast charge batteries... Um, the fucking electronic system, it's all Remac designed for the next, uh, Audi R8 electric. That's why, because Audi cut a deal with Remac. So they're using Remac components. <laughs> Remac is a huge back-end manufacturer. Like, that's what, like, people don't understand. Like, they make components for a lot of people. That wasn't a clutch. That's a fucking foot pad, Karina. It's a fucking fake clutch. It's a faux clutch. It's where you you rest your foot. Here, I'll get you in closer so you can see. There you go, Karina. Gas pedal's way too fucking short too. This this is this is not long enough. I don't like the pedal size at all. I'd swap the pedals. I'd swap the pedals. Oh, that's hilarious. Has is crying. 
Has is crying, uh, well, a couple hours ago. Has is crying on Twitter because he can't stream from his LA Airbnb. That is hilarious. Has is unironically doing the move to LA and then complain about LA thing. That's fucking brilliant. Like, he's not even, he's been there for like a few months and he's already, literally, fucking what a piece of shit city LA is. A fucking crackhead motel, Airbnb, fuck LA, this fucking backward ass primitive place, fucking point to me. Oh, <laughs> uh, then go back to fucking Michigan, man. You just move. You're not even fucking. He doesn't own anything there. He doesn't rent anything there. He just fucking. He literally is doing the unironic move to LA and try and make it. Cassidy, one can hope. One can hope. I'm betting. Here's 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 my. Um. I'm betting in two years. Has is trying to start an acting career. I I'm. I'm betting that has unironically tries to parlay this shit into like a YouTube, Amazon Prime sort of shit deal. I think I think that's what has is shooting for. I think he unironically is like secretly he wants to be Hollywood elite. He wants to be an LA insider. He hates all of that so much to the point where I think he wants to be it. Yeah, I, I think Haz is going to try and launch a fucking uh, a, a, an acting career. It's going to be sad as fuck, but I think it could I think he could do it. He's already an adult movie actor. I mean, he's bad at it, but he's trying to act like an adult. Oh, God, no. Weasel, weasel. I will. I will scorched earth this bitch. No. He'll go and try to do a rock movie, but he's not the rock. Dude, he is so fucking. He, he he is so fucking squishy. The fact that he he literally like thinks people are jealous of his physique. I would be bummed if I had his physique. He is covered in hair. He's skinny fat. He's short. He's not that built. Like I was shocked. This dude skips leg day like a motherfucker. Like, I, I was shocked how not built out he was. Because you always just see him like this, right? And he's, you know, <clears throat> you see a little bit of the bicep. You see a little of the delt. And he fucking, you know, you're like, oh, this dude's kind of stacked. And then you see him and you're like, holy shit. His forearms are underdeveloped. His triceps are underdeveloped. His fucking lats are underdeveloped. He has no fucking core. He's fucking fat and squishy and starting to hang over the fucking the waistband. His legs are fucking chicken legs. Like, and he's out there on Twitter talking about his 100% natty fucking physique that people are jealous of. I'm like, maybe try some testosterone then. Maybe get on some gear. Because if this is what you do natty, you need some help, bro. Because this is a shit physique. Has. Sweet, we've seen. Ha, Sweet has posted shirtless fucking photos of himself to Twitter, talking about how um, fucking how can someone be so manly? People are fucking jealous of. It. How can somebody be so smart and manly? It's just not fair. Don't be jealous. And we're like, we finally got a good fucking look at at has. It, it was bad. It was bad. It was like, holy shit, man! Don't brag about this. <laughs> Uh, Glazy, you, you do need to do some working out. The abs are made in the kitchen, but you do need to do some working out because skinny abs, like on a, a like a Twinkie gay porn star, skinny abs are different than abs on somebody who works out. You can take one look. You can clock them at a distance. Yes, sweet. He's the coke guy. 
he's only done curls. I think so too. I think he's never, he's put an easy, easy curl bar his entire fucking life. Yeah. I, I was like, dude, don't fucking, I wouldn't brag, bro. I wouldn't brag. That's because your dad already had the six pack, probably from a lifetime of being a fucking dude. Glazy. I don't know who Nicholas DiOrio is because Nick is fat. I don't, I don't know who Nicholas DiOrio is. I'm guessing he lots eats he let, eats lots of Oreos. But yeah, I know I know has pushed out of a fucking boxing match with Dylan Burns because Dylan used to box, and so he's like. Aah! All right, because apparently, apparently Glazy needs to fucking see some shit. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, this will work. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oof, I can't even show that one. Never mind. Yeah, here we go. All right, here you go. Here's a bunch of fucking dudes. Here's a bunch of uh, here's a bunch of fucking twinks, right? Six packs. Right? These are fucking six, like these these are six packs. And they didn't have to work at all for them. All they needed to do was not eat anything fatty or carby. They've got fucking abs. Okay? Here's somebody who's worked out. Okay, these are these are natty abs. This is the twink pack. Exactly. This is somebody who's worked out for their abs. You can clock this at a distance. These are not the same things. And I'm starting to head that direction. Fucking number two. I can you can see my abs at a distance, right? When you when you need lighting to see the abs, it's not the same. Okay. The first ones were made in the kitchen solely. The second one was made in the kitchen plus a workout routine. There is a world of difference between somebody who earned their muscle and somebody who just was skinny and have a core and they just dieted for it. Uh, caboose because you don't like the cut look and that's perfectly fine. That's an aesthetic choice. Oh, fucking head wax to fucking, dude, if we waxed Haz, fucking, that would be intense. He's, he's hairy as fuck. Why? Why? It's complete. No, you gotta do it in strips or something. Pieces. He didn't even get one of the clean. Shut up. Nobody cares about you. Where's the original fucking? Everyone got their phone out. It's a whole crowd. Yeah, okay, I'm done watching that. Um Yeah. Um Yeah, there's there's you can you can clock like you can clock it at a distance. I, I today was the first day, by the way, um, that I I could see it, 
I mean, we've seen, some of you have seen, most of you have seen, you've seen my core. Um, today while I was doing legs, after I did my core workout and then I did my legs, I could see at a distance with poor lighting, not down lighting, not like horizontal lighting, like literally full spectrum just on me lighting, um, I could see it. And so like, yeah, you can, you can clock it at a distance. Uh, Taylor, what's up mama? How, uh, how, how was your stream? What'd you guys get up to? We're, uh, we were literally just talking fucking sort of fitness related stuff, uh, of sorts. Uh, we were also dogpiling has. So if you're a fan of has, has he two holes, fucking sorry. We tend to make fun of idiots on this channel. Um, but what'd you guys get up to? How was your stream? How'd you do? Uh, Hassan making light of Canadian fastest. Yeah. Hassan can go fuck himself. I, I have no tolerance or patience for Hassan or people like Hassan. Fucking whatever. Go go chill in your like $3 million mansion and go fuck yourself. Yeah, non-binary, my porn collection couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't even censor my porn collection to make it airable. Um, Hassan had his chance. Dude, Hassan. Uh, except it's not a normal house, Glazy. Stop trying to defend the shit lib. It's not a normal house. We've all seen pictures and videos of it. It's not a normal house. Um, but they have so many less bullets and they're Canadian. Why is anyone worried? Let them have their fun. Oh, yeah. Like earlier when um, he... Uh, <laughs> Sweet. No. Um, earlier when, uh, when they were uh, pelting ambulances with rocks. That's sort of fun. Or when they were um, verbally assaulting and threatening uh, homeless shelter employees and blocking the drop-off that the police use for uh, for the homeless shelter that actually has a medical facility in it as well that could have cost somebody their life per the CEO and president of the space. Um, you know, they're fun. Yes, yes. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. Again, Hassan can go fuck himself. He is, he's in that Dylan Burns category of shit lib. Hey, Fina, how you doing? Uh, and the shit libs we know are basically guilty of all of the crimes that allow all of the shit people to do what they do. The racists in the 60s, and I mean, even today, but you know, the racists in the 60s, right? MLK called these fuckers out. Straight up. Like, it's, it's the white moderate liberals that are the problem, not the fucking clan member. The clan member's a minority. Fucking, <laughs> the clan members couldn't do shit if y'all wouldn't let them do shit. Fucking, it's the shit libs, like Hassan, and like Dylan Burns. Like Dylan Burns, who fucking took to air after we found out the anti-work mod was a, rep a serial sexual assaulter. And fucking defended that person on air and then took that opportunity to shit on the anti-work movement at the same time. Shit libs are terrible people. Just by default. That's that's what they are. They're terrible people. They would like to compromise with Nazis. And it's just bigots of all sorts. Just bigots of all sorts. It's, you've got one group over here saying, I want to do a genocide. And then you've got another group over here saying, uh, let's not do a genocide. And then you've got the shit libs in the middle going, let's compromise, guys. A little genocide. Fuck them. Fuck them. Oh, non-binary. It's always been the fucking... Dude, like, for most... For our lives? Yeah, it's always been the libs. Because the conservatives... Even in America, conservatives are a minority. The Republican Party is a minority po uh, party. That's... Because why they have to do all of the voter rights restrictions. It's why they have to do the voting redistricting maps, uh, all that bullshit. It's why they have to manipulate the, uh, the system because they're a minority party. If Republicans just straight, if we did a straight up and down vote in this country of like progressives versus moderates versus conservatives, the conservatives would lose every time. They're a minority party. So they have to fuck around. They have to use shit fuckery to, uh, to win. I don't know who that person is, Kevin FM. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, I don't know who that person is. Um, I also don't watch Hippy Dippy. I don't. I have an enga I have engaged with Dylan Burns once, and I it left a permanent bad taste in my mouth. Like I said, he took to the air and defended a, a serial sexual assaulter. 
after I provided him evidence of their assault. Um, for those of you who didn't see the the mod tweets and uh, the mod Facebook shit that happened with the anti work mod, uh, where she they admitted to s sexual assaulting their former partner who had PTSD from previous sexual assaults, I provided those uh, screenshots ahead of everybody else. Yes, hi, my name's Kai. I broke that fucking story, and I have people that can attest to that. Um, you may have seen it elsewhere, but it got broken here first. Um, I provided those screenshots to Dylan and he took to the air to defend that mod vocally. And so like he decided that sexual assault, okay, anti-work movement, bad. That was, that was the ethical framework decision-making that he made that day. I watched it. I watched it. My, my viewers watched it live on air. So as far as I'm concerned, the shit libs, I don't know who that person is either. Um, thankfully, I stay out of most of these circles. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck around with them. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Aircraft Sparky. What a, he's a dumbass conservative debate, bro. Okay. Yeah, I've never even, I've never even encountered him. I don't think I've ever even seen the name, frankly. Yeah, I would too, Libra. I'd remember somebody with the username Sparky. Well, Kevin, I, I run in circles where I have to put up with like people like Haz. So I'll trade you Sparky for Haz. He's, like I said, you, as you can see, has is, has is like two inches tall. I keep him in my pocket from time to time. So, like, I can mail him to you. I can just put him in a box and punch some holes and send him, and we can trade. I'll trade you, I'll trade you Sparky for has. We'll do a little, uh, we'll do a, a, an idiot exchange program. Uh, how about that? Uh, which one, Kevin? Um, has or Sparky? Because they're both super transphobic and racist. <laughs> I'm going to need further details, Kevin, because, well, there's a lot of shit human beings walking around. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <sighs> All right, so I did the Tesla thing. Oh God, I can't talk about that one on air. That one's that's an off-air topic. Topic. Um, yeah, thanks, E Composer. It's probably a good idea. Uh. <laughs> It has. <laughs> Instead of pocket sand, pocket has. And fucking the visual on that one. Just a little fucking has. Fucking like <laughs> latching onto their face. And like. <laughs> Dude, perfect visual. Oh. Uh, okay, fair enough. So air, air, aircraft is the fucking racist transphobe. Um, yeah, here, here, here. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry ahead of time. I'm sorry. This is this is what we were making fun of. Hang on, let me get the other one because the other one shows the gut. Um, this is what has tweeted out. Okay. Has tweeted out that like, literally like, don't be jealous of my hundred percent natty body. How can somebody be so, uh, so smart and look like this at the same time? I, 
I just... Look. If you're gonna fucking brag about it, you open yourself up, right? Like, if I saw that po photo, I wouldn't even think twice. Whatever. Just a dude showing off. Good for him. He's got, you know, his biceps are nice. Good on him. Um, but if you're going to come out and talk about shit like Stalinism and how Lysenko was right and how homosexuality is the result of a liberal agenda and under a communist regime would be either purged or would d uh, disappear unto itself and talk about abiotic oil theory and talk about how uh, anarchists are actually working for the CIA and crazy shit like that at the same time brag about that physique and talk about how people are jealous of it yeah you open your you open yourself up sorry fair game then fair game your gut is hanging over your fucking waistband. You are hairy to the nth degree. It is disgusting. Your legs look like chicken legs. You've skipped leg dig every single fucking day. Your fucking, uh, the top, the head of your fucking shoulder, your deltoid buildup is so fucking weirdly built up at this point that it looks like there's an extra hump on top of it. His fucking forearms are not keeping up with his biceps. He's completely asymmetrical. His fucking, like, bruh. Don't brag about this. It's not something to be bragging about. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, about enough about the fucking munchkin. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, lovely. Uh, Florida in the news again. Ron DeSantis. Um, uh, Ron DeSantis lashed out today saying that people calling for him to condemn Nazis operating in his state are trying to smear him. Hey, Aspen. So, for some reason, Ron DeSantis thinks that the Nazis are associated with him somehow. That's, that's, yeah, exactly, Rev. So, he's admitting he's a Nazi. Like, that's people saying, just condemn the fucking Nazis operating in your state right now. And this motherfucker's like, why are you trying to smear me? I mean, we weren't, but that sounds like a self-report. Like, that that feels self-reporty to me, homie. <laughs> like, just, just say fuck the Nazis and move on with your life. It's really fucking simple. Hey, I, although I have no association or regard for anybody who ascribes to white supremacy, white nationalism, or neo-Nazism, or Nazism in its old flavors in my state... I do hereby repudiate and condemn those who do operate and identify with those ideologies. Wow, that was super fucking difficult. It's like pulling teeth. Condemning Nazis isn't difficult. It's really the simplest thing, especially as a politician. But when you immediately go on the defensive and like, are you trying to smear me? Are we? Hard as fuck when you're a Nazi. Like, it, it's, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that difficult. It really shouldn't. But apparently it is, which is weird. I, I think DeSantis wants to run for president. Yeah, I do. I think he, I think he's got aspirations. Uh, Fina, it depends. It depends, Fina. It's sort of, are you getting any? If you're getting some, then yeah, protect yourself. If you're not, then wait for the first one. And then lock it down. And go on fucking banhammer duty if you have to. Hey, 
Hey, Cassidy. Happy to ca happy capitalism. Thank you for the resub, Cassidy. 13 fucking months. Oh, <laughs> he's got two years to pump up those numbers. Florida leftists need to do work. Exactly. Fucking, because everybody knows the leftists in Florida are the ones responsible for posting the fucking, uh, the swastikas. Um... Hey, we're number one. We're number one. We're number one. Oh, um, just so you know what 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 I'm chanting about. Uh, we taught we we cleared the hundred thousand Americans died from diabetes in 2021. You know, that thing we could prevent. That thing that there's medication for. That thing that basic healthcare access can prevent death from. More than 100,000 dead from it last year. Yeah, we're, we're, we're so great. It's just the best system in the world. It's just the... Oh, fucking A. It's just the best system in the world. Um. Oh, yeah, Fina. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, fucking hundreds, depending on the dosage you require, Karina. Fucking hundreds. Glazy, you've never been anywhere else. Have you ever been to Australia, Glazy? Belize, Uruguay, Germany, Portugal, Spain, hell, even China. Have you ever... There you go. I've, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Uh, but you've never been out of the country. Homie, you have zero fucking perspective. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live anywhere other than America. Of course, I've never seen any other place than America, so, you know. <laughs> Even fucking kids visit a college campus before they go there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'd move to Ireland in a heartbeat, says Cassidy. Mm, pass. I'd visit. It's one of the few. I would visit Scotland and Ireland. England can go fuck itself. Um, and the Welsh, I'm not convinced that's an actual language they're speaking, so pass. Um, but, yeah. I'd visit, I'd visit Scotland and Ireland, but the rest of the Isles, nah, I'm good. I mean, redacted is because you don't have your head up your ass. That's... Fucking dude, how do you not as an American like um where's the best place to be gay and get high, says Fina? At your boyfriend's house. Um That's the one I was looking for. Provincetown. I don't know if weed's legal, but Provincetown is a great place to be gay. Um, gay and weed. Oregon, dude. Okay, so here's the thing. If you're just saying like Oregon or like the Pacific Northwest or blah, 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 these sorts of things, dude, you guys have to... Um, you have to consider these places are San Fran's just Cassie. San Francisco is just a pain in the ass to be. I actually, I almost did put up Vegas dig. I almost did put up Vegas as much as I fucking hated here at Vegas probably is one of the better places. Um, like places like Oregon and that sort of thing. You have to be in Portland. You can't be anywhere else. You know that, right? Like the rest of fucking Oregon is, but it end and end and end and end shit, right? It is... What the fuck? Um... Yeah, um... You, you, you really... Eugene's good. Hippieville otherwise, yeah. Fucking see, that's... You gotta consider that, like, outside the urban establishments... Fucking... 
It's it's sketchy as fuck in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, you know what? Vermont. Vermont. Vermont's probably the best place to be fucking gay and smoke weed. Um, are you white? That's that's the the critical thing. Uh, Vermont's basically an ethno state. Um, I've, I've told this story before it, Vermont is one of the most progressive places on the planet, but they don't have experience. They have no lived experience with people of color. So they get super racist sometimes, um, to the extent that they had like uh, a black, uh, uh, attorney general. Dude, tons of fucking death threats. They drove her out of office. They replaced her with a trans woman. She was white. They don't, they don't have, Vermonters don't have any issue with like gay or trans they just have no people of color, so they have no lived experience. So they're still fucking like, gen they're like generationally racist. Um, yeah, exactly. Like in Sweden, it's easy to claim to be not not be racist when you live in a racially homogenous state. It's the same goes for Vermont. It's like, yeah, dude, none of them have ever met a black man, like. Dude, I'm, I'm not kidding you. There's there's a significant portion of fucking Vermont that's never met a black man. They've seen him, but they've never met one. Both, Peaky. Both. Why not? Why, Fina? Those aren't mutually exclusive ideologies. Those aren't mutually exclusive belief systems. Like, you, you, you can... I've known plenty of misogynistic gay dudes. I've known plenty of racist gay, gay dudes. I've known Trump supporting gay dudes. I've known fucking log cabin, uh, log cabin Republican gay Like th those are the gay Republicans, the log cabin Republicans. Like it's, yeah. Oh no, beast. That That's all the time. It's not the same movement. That's the, dude, that's the thing that fucking the trans movement and the gay movement, like you guys have to understand LGBTQ fucking plus, 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 plus logistically and logically are not the same thing. They're not the same thing. They're not the same movement. So you're going to have divisions like that where you have gay people who are transphobic. And you can have trans people who are homophobic. That's a thing. I've met them. Yeah. Yeah, not a monolith. Exactly. You're attempting to lump a whole bunch of movements, a whole bunch of civil rights topics all into one initialism, and it doesn't function well that way. Um, <laughs> Christ, Swede. Dig knows a gay Hispanic who hangs with the three percenters. There you go. Like... Hey, public. And yes, intersectionality is not a given. <laughs> Spot on, Puka. Yeah, it's almost like people are complicated. I know, crazy, huh? Um, uh, Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine now has full FDA approval. No clauses, no catches. Just FYI for when you're debating and talking to um, people. Idiots. Morons. Whatever. Um... Oh, we mentioned that. The fucking plea deal for the dude who killed Ahmed Arbery got rejected by the judge. Uh, we're up to 50 Starbucks stores are attempting to unionize. We're up to 50. Keep, just keep pushing that number north. Keep pushing that, uh, that number north. Wait, what? How did Glazy not know what Hokkaido is? <sighs> okay. 
I mean, I guess American geography is just, we really just, our educational system is shit, man. It's a Japanese prefecture. It's, it's in Japan, Glazy. It's in Japan. It's Japan. Hokkaido is in Japan. It's a, it's a prefecture in Japan. <sighs> God, our educational system sucks. <laughs> Chris, thanks. <laughs> oh god why are we um counties states it's 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 kind of like counties it, it, given the size of japan a prefecture is probably comparable to a county it's it's generally classified as an administrative division i think is the is the technical reference um, that if you Wikipedia it, you probably find a, a administrative division somewhere listed in the first paragraph. But they're essentially counties, but for Japan. That's a prefecture. Um, or prefecture, depending on your pronunciation, but prefecture is better. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, they'd be states, but like Japan's is not big enough for them to be states so comparable to us they'd be closer to counties yeah um i mean no offense redacted but that's not a request you can make <laughs> i mean you know Good luck with it, but you and I both know. Now find me Suriname, Glazy. Glazy, where where is Suriname? Glazy's proud because he could identify 50 states. Where's Suriname, Glazy? Is your name Glazy? That's interesting. That's it's that's fascinating that you're that, that it, Glazy's it, Glazy changed his username. Congratulations. Brilliant on following directions too, aren't you? Thank you. Thank you, new Glazy. Again, American educational system. Basic language and directions. Basic language and directions. We can't even follow them. <laughs> uh. What? Benelux? Dude, it's in the name. It's fucking uh, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. It's a, a socioeconomic trading block. Try try using something that doesn't have the fucking names of the countries literally in the portmanteau for it. Anyway. Yeah, I can't argue with public either. 
fucking A. All right, let's, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, uh, looks like the fucking, what is this? Oh, God. Democratic Socialists of America in, Nor- uh, in fucking New Orleans is, oh, God. Jesus goddamn Christ. Okay, the Dem Socks are fucking doing the stupid shit again. Can somebody tell the t- tell the fucking Dem Socks to shut the fuck up already? Jesus goddamn Christ. They have zero political uh, they have zero ability to fucking I I, I Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's Hey guys, Russia's invading Ukraine. God damn America. That's because they're dem socks. I'm sorry, the democratic socialists in this country are fucking functionally deficient. They're dumb as fuck. They're absolutely just dumb beyond belief. They're the same fucking ones here in Vegas that built the homeless encampment on illegal homeless encampment. Spent like $15,000 doing it and then it got fucking bulldozed. Because, of course, you built an illegal homeless encampment, you dumb fucks. They're, they're functionally deficient. They're also, aren't they the ones that fucking do the, the point of privilege shit? Aren't they responsible for the the... One of the most mentally painful videos I've ever seen. It wasn't there that they're fucking. Yeah, okay, so they're the point of privilege idiots too. God, that video haunts my nightmares. Absolutely nothing got done that day. At damn American imperialism forcing Russia to invade. Just. The lack of nuance in investigating and analyzing political uh, political action spaces on a uh, on a global scale, right? Like this is geopolitics. Like this is what it's about: being able to do geopolitical analysis. And these fuckers take a look at that, uh, take a look at that situation and go, "Fucking America!" I get it. The DSA are also the people who called Destiny a Nazi. Oh yeah, that sounds about right for them. Um, I mean, to be fair, he said some shit he shouldn't have said. I'm not going to defend that fucking statement, but holy fuck, he's not a Nazi as a result of it. Like, get your terminology straight. Um, fucking, like, yeah. Like, I just, I just can't with these people. I just can't. I get it. America bad. I get it. This country fucking sucks. This country is a fucking war, warlike imperial fucking entity that is just a cancer. I get, I get it. I fucking get it. But Jesus goddamn Christ, not every single thing that happens on this planet is the U.S.'s fault. That's just not how it... Apparently, U.S. is God. The U.S. is omnipotent to these people. Like, that is that is apparently the, the, the line of thought that occurs in these morons' brain, is that the U.S. is omnipotent. So, like, oh, God... Yeah, he's not a he's not a Nazi. He's an idiot and an asshole, but he's not a Nazi. Fucking Jesus, goddamn Christ! Oh look, the fucking Canadian protesters protesting against vaccination mandates are displaying swastikas now. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, guillotine. That's that's the comment that we're talking about for sure. Thanks for the follow, rational. Um, that is that is the content. Uh, the the comment. I I just. I mean, it is sort of the subtle, uh, subtle racism of low expectations, right, Fina? Like, 
China couldn't possibly be imperialist because they're not as crafty and as 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 fucking brilliant apparently as the the evil whites, right? The whites managed to fucking use their their evil trickery to like get behind and control every single aspect. It's like it seems weirdly racist, but not towards whites. It seems like you're saying that brown and black people can't pull this off or something. I, I, I don't, it, it does. It's, it, it smacks of that like subtle racism of low expectations. It's in that territory that you start to like, you start to sit back and go, that's weird. Smacks of the racism of the ancient aliens. Yeah, basically. Fucking clearly the Egyptians couldn't build those pyramids. It had to be aliens. They were just they were just brown strenuously brown people. They couldn't they couldn't do that. Aha. Uh -huh. Beach fucking sweet beat you to it. Um. Oh. Hey, that's good. Um, Ukraine has lifted restrictions on railway transit of goods to Poland. Russia has forced their hand and a major obstacle in Polish-Ukrainian relations has been removed. Good on. Russia's Russia's causing Ukraine to reach out and make friends. Fucking for, that's 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 a whole thing. I I I like it. Good on. Uh Oh yeah. All right. Wait, what? The headline I just came across was Domino's will pay you $3 to not get your pizza delivered. If you order your pizza online and choose carry out, they will give you a $3 credit. Yep. They're so they they're facing a shortage of workers. So they're incentivizing customers to choose carry out over delivery. That's that's what that's about. Uh, Domino's. Um, Domino's can't afford its uh, its ch uh, chicken anymore. So the Domino's deal went from 10 pieces to eight pieces because they can't afford the supply line for it. Also, Domino's fucking sales fell. First time since 2011, Domino's is seeing f uh, sales fall. Yep. that launch where did that launch from there we go uh, your local places aren't stocking chicken anymore somebody was talking about, it was crimson it was crimson that was talking about um uh fucking all right close that i don't need that uh, Crimson was talking about earlier today was asking people um, if they, anybody saw a drastic drop in beef quality at their store. Uh, Cat was in agreement. Um, Cat said, uh, I can confirm it's been getting worse, been eating less of it as late. Crimson said, Crimson said that they've been seeing more dark spots from stress. 
Um, also, like, it didn't feel like it was safe to eat the steak that was cooked to a medium rare anymore. Also, price hikes. Um, your Walmart only had chicken legs today. I, I, I chipped in with, like, no decreasing quality yet on the high-end side because that's where I shop territory. Um, so I would guess that you're starting to see an even more apparent class divide um, in food qualities and quantities. Um, so, like, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen any. But, again, one, I don't eat a whole lot of beef, but uh, my folks do eat beef, and I haven't seen any, any decreasing quality across the board from the few times I've seen beef. Um, two cuts like that, and they hit them with labels, of course. Of course. Um, yeah, my bison is still the same quality. Um, I, you know, like I said, I don't eat beef. I eat bison. Um, that's my red meat or elk, um, but that's hunted. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, of course. Of course you're going to see that. Uh, well, Wither, we have, like, low-end stores here, too. I mean, we have fucking... Walmart, yeah, Walmart. Um, we have food for less. We have do, dig. Do we have like dollar stores? Yeah, we have dollars. Dollar General. Do we have like Dollar General here? Dig. I know we have like dollar stores, but Dollar General are the ones that usually do the. We do. Bobby's saying we do. Thank you, Bobby. I am sorry. Yes. Dig also confirming as for co contemporary current. Yeah, I don't. I'm sorry. I've just. I, I don't. And Dollar Tree apparently says dig. And yeah, Cassie saying Dollar Tree scarily also sells meat. Yeah, I, I don't. I've never even set, a, set foot in one of those stores. Yeah, well, of course I had to ask Wither. I, I've, I've legitimately never even set foot in one of those stores. I, I can't, honestly. Sorry. I would not eat food from one of those stores. Because Glazy, a cut of beef should not cost a dollar. And if you can get me beef for a dollar, something's wrong with it. Something's wrong with the supply line. Something's wrong with the retail side. Something's wrong with... No. No, that's no food should in our system. If you show me food that expensive or that inexpensive, I'll show you food you should not be touching. There's a reason, folks, there's a reason I look like I'm fucking 26 and I'm 40, right? Like, I'm sorry. It's the food and it's the sedentary lifestyle. Stop eating shit. Stop eating shit. Get off your ass, move a little bit, eat higher quality food. And yes, you can garden it yourself. You don't need to buy it. Again, public. That's why you need mutual aid. That's why you need affinity groups. That's why you need to fucking get together and do this shit as a community. Because of that very reason, public. It's almost like anarchism has a solution for this. Crafts and candy are staples. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, Cassie. Gardening for the win! We need mutual aid gems. I agree. A resolution. I'm excited to set up my garden again soon. Yeah, I know, isn't it? A again, public, like, get with people in your community. Like, that's, that's, somebody's going to have space. Somebody will have the knowledge. Somebody will have some extra time. That, see, you see how that works? Synergy. Uh, Cassie's been building new bit, uh, garden beds. Rock the fuck on. Well, then you're fucked. Sorry. I can't fix capitalism today. Can't do it. Then you're fucked. Like, get to Facebook, get to Twitter, get to fucking however you socialize and figure out some, some people. 
This is this is, and if you can't do that, if you're completely antisocial and you're completely agoraphobic, then yeah, you're fucked. Like I, I can't, I I got nothing for that. Like that's just, uh, Caboose. I agree. We need mutual aid gyms. I mean, I'd use mine that way. Dig. Dig, you're local. Dig, if you ever need to use like a weight set or anything like that, you can feel free to come to my side of town. Don't get a gym membership. Dig. Fucking, you can use my weights. There you go. Um, yeah, I, 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 I refuse to believe because I've seen it too many times. I've seen it done too many times. Community gardens aren't that difficult to set up. They're not. I've seen them set up in fucking Las Vegas, for fuck's sake. If we can set them up here, then... All y'all who have, like, decent growing seasons and, like, actual soil... I, I, I refuse to accept so many excuses. I'm sorry. Just the truth. Oh, no, Dig, I said if you ever need to use, like, weights, if you ever do some weightlifting, Dig, because Kabo said we need um, uh, mutual aid gyms. I said, Dig, you're local. If you ever need to, if you ever want to use some weight sets or anything like that, dumbbells or a fucking, you know, a, a home gym sort of situation, just come over to my side of town. Don't fucking pay a gym. Uh, that, that's, no, I'm sorry, public. Like, I'm sorry, even if you can find dirt, doesn't mean you can use it. Guerrilla gardening, Ill illegalism, and YouTube videos. Exactly, Dig. Dig knows, knows what's up. Um, yeah, Dig, Dig does guerrilla gardening in Las Vegas. Like, I, I, I just, I'm sorry. There's too many fucking excuses from today. There's just, today's day and age, there's too many goddamn excuses. Um, you can even hook up on Discord and get some coaching. Libra, I love guerrilla gardening, right? I, like, I, I just... I don't, I don't... Oh, dig, I've got so much aloe. I've got so much aloe. I mean, I'm one of those people as well, dig. Yeah. When I had my uh, aquaponics system, dude, I had a shit ton of aloe. Um, nonsense. I grow fresh excuses in my excuses garden. Um, Cassidy is available to help with anybody who needs it. For as far as knowledge and expertise goes, Cassidy's got it. Um, oh, yeah. Resolution. Fucking... Is that directed at me, Fertus? Yeah, I, I built a home aquaponic system and I ran it for like six years. Um, I used tilapia um, as my uh, primary fish. And yeah, I, I bought a, a, a pond liner and fucking went to town. Uh, constructed the bed, construct, you know, just did the filtration system. Got the, t uh, I put a 300 gallon tank in the backyard, a, a fucking 300 gallon uh, agricultural trough, big old uh, plastic uh, black agricultural trough, um, and filled it with tilapia. And yeah, like, yeah, I, I ran an aquaponic system for ages. Uh, for two, it takes a month of. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shot, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Um, and then after the first month, it should get pretty much locked into homeostasis. And then you're good to go. Um, after that, it's really easy. Um, honestly, wasn't that difficult. There's plenty of like... There's plenty of guides online. There's plenty of YouTube videos. There's plenty of knowledge out there. Um, it isn't that complicated, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, just get your get the right testing gear. Get the right chemicals that can balance it one direction or another, as far as pH goes, that sort of thing. Um, and 
go from there. It really wasn't that complicated. Um, it's a little like, you know, you're flying by the seat of your pants and you're worried that all of your fish might die. Um, but honestly, I didn't think it was that difficult. So. Cassidy is also offering up loads of seeds to share if anyone needs them. See? It, it isn't that difficult to get a community garden going. It really isn't. Even if you don't have the soil, you can fucking work around it. Bobby, I can help with all things fish. Been keeping them my whole life. Where did I see fucking... Yeah, be sin. Yeah, you can manufacture soil. It's doable. Um, what's the what's the fucking South American technique? Um, what do they call their soil? Cassidy might know. What's what's the South American process of like the the fucking magic soil? Biochar, but no, it's got a diff There's another name attached to it that I'm thinking of. No, it's not night soil. Terra Preta. Terra Preta. I think that's it. That that's that sounds right. That feels right. Yep, it's Terra Preta. Thank you, Cupcake. Ooh, dig. Yeah, I'll take some fucking limes off you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, anytime you want to fucking hook up and hang out, dig, let me know. I'll take some limes for sure. I got, I got a little something I can throw your way to. Dude, I'll take any of that. I'll, I'll fucking, I can process any of that and make something usable out of it. Yeah, one of these weekends, you know what, dig? Fucking whichever whichever direction, we'll, we can trade off. One of these weekends, we'll fucking, you can come hang here, we'll watch a fucking movie, get stoned, but I can come up to you, we can fucking hang and watch a movie and get stoned at your place, either way. Um, yeah, one of these weekends, dig, let's, let's fucking do something. Um, yeah, yeah, dig, I'll take a bunch of them off your hand and I'll process them and make them into something and we'll go from there. Um... Sorry, making plans again on, on air. Um, all right, fair enough, Dick. Yeah, yeah, we can hang here. No big deal. Rock on. Um, let's see. And. Clicking, 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 clicking. Sorry. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. Nope. Um. <laughs> God, non-binary. Um. I could I could use the fucking limes just for the lime juice alone. Oh, Jesus Christ, Kaiser, fucking a. Wait, I think that's a cigar actually. 
Fuck, I'm just looking at the commons on the Discord server. Yeah, oh yeah, you can do mobile aquaponics with her. I've seen an RV with an aquaponics system. Um, dude had uh, panels, um, solar panels on the roof, and he went from there. Um, yeah, not a big deal. Somebody give me somebody with single digits. Somebody give me a streamer with single digits that you approve of, that you like, that could use some love. Who's got somebody? Oh, Karina here. Here you go, Karina. There you go, Karina. Um, no, e composer, it does not. It does not. Oh, that's fascinating. Hey, um, Twitch. When I'm Rain using my my like channel that, raid yeah. preview screen to check to like preview a channel if I want to raid into it, maybe don't put ads in that. They are fucking dumb. Oh, Endless is on. Is Endless on? Oh, well, fuck that. We own the raid anyway. Fucking, yeah, even the preview screen. Endless is good people. He's playing Mortal Kombat right now, but Endless is like an anti-fascist fucking musician and activist out of Baltimore. Uh, does a lot of good work and has done some shit, seen some shit. Um, had a good conversation with him. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna raid over to fucking Endless. Um, yeah, I'll be in voice chat afterwards. So, yeah, with that, fucking wrap this stream. It started chuddy, but we got rid of the chuds. Um, duly noted with her. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll fucking raid over, and like I said, I'll be in, I'll be in VC after. Uh, for a bit. So I need to, I still need to fucking, oh, fucking still need to do a, a fucking, a proper arms workout in the, in the garage. And I also need to get some food prepared, but that is either way what it is. So yeah, tomorrow's a late night stream. We'll see what we get up to. I think, um, I think I'm going to continue my reading of Bob Black tomorrow night. So we're going to keep reading abolish work. Um, and we'll go from there. Either way, catch y'all later.